Hey friends, it's me, Wayman29, and um, just wanted to stop in and say hello. And a lot of uh, crazy things happened here uh, where I live. Um, I had a I had a neighbor pass on, and um, um, some things going on in family. So it, it might be a while before I'm able to post the bail documentary. I'm 75% done with it, but um, I, I just wanted to come on and and, and send everybody to. Uh, read this essay because um, this essay pretty much gets across what I mean by living the metaphor and this essay happens to be happens to be in the Christian context but but I think that it, it could be anything and, and here in this essay and, and it's on npr.org it's called this I believe and, and I'll post the link in the detail section so so be sure to, to click on that but 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 here here this essay is about uh, a woman who realizes that she is caught in the metaphor, and, and it's been something that I've been trying to explain, and I'm glad that I'm not the only one who uh, realizes this. And I totally went nuts when I heard it on the radio. I was like, yeah. So this is something that I've been trying to explain uh, for a long time in a lot of my videos. So uh, the few of you who who watch my videos, uh, <laughs> the few of you, uh, go over there and check that out. Uh, I think it would be very beneficial and maybe you can kind of understand where I'm coming from with all this metaphoric talk and mythology talk and how to apply it to your life talk. And um, this essay is a great example of that. So I'm not sure when I'll be back on. Um, summer is here and me and Mrs. Wayman29 are going to be doing a lot of fun things. So, um, until, until then, friends, uh, take care, and remember, if everyone's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.